Uh, and um, okay, I rather not, you know, <laughs> elevate that. But people have been, you know, raising all sorts of questions, you know, about her moving forward and making the complaint. Well, some say that's rather to justify that it's clean money. Nothing. Some say, well, her cup of was full, and this was God, and that was her money. She cannot claim it's not hers. Yes. Yeah, so, doc, having followed the discussion so far and the facts as have come out so far, from where you sit, what do you say about it? Thank you very and, much. Uh, Dr. Pebby refers to the time when the government was calling on all of us, particularly those of us who, were, who sit on shows like this, mm. were being pleaded with to tell the public not to hoard. Uh, you know, the black market was being blamed and so on. Everybody was being told not to hoard money. But the facts remain. I know just too many people mm. who didn't make any qualms about picking whatever money Pesua they have in the bank and converting it into dollars and keeping it in, under their bed. Thank you very much. I think I'll first want to Dr. Strem for what he said. You know, and from what the last speaker just said, I mean, the docket's being called by the AG. And from the experiences, like Dr. Strem said, creates suspicion. That is why everybody is worried. That is why everybody is worried that why didn't we allow it to go the way it was going? And suddenly we have one leg from OSP, the second leg with AG. And the more importantly, what makes it more dangerous is that this is a politically exposed person. And how, as you said, how can one of them be able to assess objectively about the person? So the anxiety that is being created, the suspense that is created is coming from the way it's being handled. Because like you I rightly said, initially, they should have had this pre advice to the police to do it this way. Then they, they've done it this way and it has fallen to the public domain. If the police didn't bring it to their attention, what yeah. could they do? Well, and if the attorney general says, I give you power to prosecute, I just want to help you with the matter of the criminal uh, theft, prosecuting the people accused of theft. OSP is doing a completely different thing. OSP's focus is on the minister and her husband or the, the family. And the What's wrong with that? The reason why people are not happy about it is that he's one of them. I mean, we have to be very clear that if we are in the same boat and something is going wrong, could I speak objectively about it? You know, let us be Ghanaians, like morally and ethically. Let us begin to think rationally. Not everything is by law. I think, what sort of country is this? Are we being ruled by law? Hello? The moral and the ethics are very, very important. That is why we find people hooking people's neck, trying so, to... So what's the suspicion? The, susp the criminal prosecution going on. The AG will get involved and do what? Get the money that they want to retrieve for the woman re uh, uh, reduced or what? To her disadvantage? Not to her disadvantage or her advantage. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that institutions that have been created are not independent. Let us make it clear here. Are they, are the AG, is it independent? You see, AG is not independent. It's not we independent. Know that. No, but the question I'm asking, what's the fear about the AG's involvement in the aspect of the theft, which is against the individuals who stole the money? The, the, the fear is that it has happened, like Dr. Strim said, and what has been the outcome? The fear is that we have seen it before, and we will see it again. So why do we want to do these things as if we are all trying to do one thing or the other. So that is my take on it. But like the question you said, <laughs> is it a cup full? You know, when the crisis started coming, and the dollar started running 15, I had so many people telling me, asking me for my advice. They asked me, Doc, what do you think about this economy? The first thing I ask you, if you destroy somebody's assets in your custody, do you expect other people to have the asset and give it in your custody? What I'm trying to say that the bonds that were destroyed, it is people money that has been entrusted to you. And you have consistently and deliberately destroyed a value of 90. Deliberately? Well, I will call it, because those of us in finance, if I have a return of 19.3 for five years consistently, 
and you spread it for 50 years with a drop rate of 8.5, the value is completely lost. But where's the deliberateness? Because we are in a difficulty. No, Craig, now who calls them? In your, your opening speech, I like your take. You said, now who calls them? Who calls them? So, I mean, who calls them? All this borrowing and borrowing, we knew where we were going. I predicted it in 2019 at my lecture at Kimpiski. I said we are heading down to the drain because the way we are borrowing, it is not commensurate with the project that is supposed to give, give us a little education here. What is the, the impact, negative effect, of not taking such amount of money to the bank? And keeping it at home. The negative impact is straightforward, Sammy. You are de depriving the, the surplus end of the money to the deficit end. What we mean is that the banks will receive this money and will give it to loans so that the economy will grow. But if you do that, if you don't do that and somebody holds on it, that money is being withheld. That is why you move the money from the surplus area to deficit area through the financial system. Again, I'm again, when they say they are monitoring M1, M2, the, the measure of money, money supply M1, M2, they cannot measure it. But the quantum of the money is sitting somewhere where nobody even has to control. It doesn't work. Mm. What about inflation? It is not, you, that is where they did. You see, immediately they saw the currency the, 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 the going down, they pumped in the money. They bought the dollar. So the dollar started going to 15. So even this hiding this money has something to do with the pricing of the currency. And these things have ramification effect and the negative effect on the economy. So when people say inflation, what do you ask? Why do we talk about that? We talk about it because it erodes the purchasing power of the Ghanaian. Mm. That is why we are more concerned. But let me okay. come to so I mean, let me come to the point. I that, said that, you, that that though is a moral, ethical, and not a criminal no not at all as uh, justice had mentioned earlier. Yes, at all yeah at all it's not i mean hold, and i think dr pebby also uh, yeah holding on to the money for me to me i mean a rational human being when you have a bad economy inflation running depreciation going here physical deficit running as helter scatter the best that you have to take a position and ideally people would buy the foreign currency keep it or they will alternatively if the property market was good, they would go into properties. In Nigeria, we are told that there's about $3 trillion in the economy, uh, uh, but, but less than 20% is in the banks. People are holding it. Hold it. There's no crime. Yeah, there's no crime. <laughs> Let me just uh, chip in this. I think we need to be very you know, careful how we even say that there is no crime in keeping, in keeping the money. money at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It may be true that we don't have a particular law which says don't keep so and so money at home. But you cannot keep that amount of Point money at home without committing some crimes on, along mm. the way. For example, in April 2022, which is around the same time that these monies were probably being accumulated, mm. the Bank of Ghana published a notice, notice number BGGOV SEC 2022-04. And in that notice, Bank of Ghana reco recounted its previous notices in 2012 and 2019 reminding the public that you do not deal in foreign, foreign currency. currency. What, does it, what, what do we mean by dealing in for, foreign currency? It says if you buy it, if you store it, if you, a list of things that you mm -hmm. do. So even though there is no law which says that, don't keep this Please, can you check that again? If you buy it, if you store it. Hold on, let me just, <laughs> let me just read <laughs> That's in. interesting. Let me uh, just read in. So it says, yeah, I'll come in. and this is, it says what? Please tell us again, what are you reading? I'm Bank reading from notice. Bank of Ghana Notice, mm -hmm. which is, actually from Act 723, seven, mm -hmm. you know. And these notices are kind of laws, yeah. 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 according That's to... The they are laws, they are laws, yeah. yeah. So it says, it actually quotes Section 3 of um, Act 723, that is mm -hmm. the Foreign Exchange Act, and it says, a person shall not engage in the business of dealing in foreign currency, foreign exchange without the license issued under this Act. Then the business of dealing in foreign exchange includes purchase and sale of foreign currency, Receipt or payment of foreign currency, importation, exportation of foreign currency, lending and borrowing. So you ask yourself, 
How did you come by, by this volume of foreign currency? But this is like the forex kind of business, people who are dealing with... No, no it, you can go for... If you, no, if you go for license, then you are, you are <laughs> authorized to do so. Any person, whether an institution or whatever, who does not go for a license and is yet dealing with this amount of foreign currency, must be, must be committing some... must be breaching some laws. That is not all. Even if it is put in a box and locked and kept. <laughs> How did it get into the box? That is the question. You know, something you remember, there was an instance, it was a case where the law was that you shouldn't be found in the vicinity of the Queen's uh, uh, airstrip. And the person crossed into the center. When he was arrested, he said, I'm not guilty. I was found at the center. So I was not found at the And they asked him, how did you get to the center? <laughs> so the question is, yeah. how did you get this amount of money and lock that in the, in the box? You couldn't get it without doing any of these things. Because we don't, we don't print okay. dollars. Let me finish, Sam, just mm. a minute. Mm. We don't print dollars in this country. Mm. And we know how much dollar you can carry in cash into this country. Mm. Mm. It cannot be more than $10,000, right. mm. whether you are taking it out or So you ask yourself, how many $10,000 do you have in one million you know, United States dollars? That's a lot of money. Mm. So we shouldn't just simplify it by mm. saying that because mm. there is no mm. specific law which says you can't hold the money. But there are laws which prevent you from accumulating that kind of money and keeping them at home. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you. Sam's Thank you for that. Uh, let me...